All right, guys, how's it going, East Bay Anglers? And today we're talking all about the Carson River. Carson River located in California, Alpine County, California. It's a great little fit. I mean, it's a great little uh, area. It's beautiful, scenic, one of the more beautiful places in California, hands down. And it's got the Carson River running through it, which is really, really cool. And the Carson River goes on and on through California to Nevada. There's a lot of... A lot of, um, a lot of, uh, good fishing in, in the Carson. And today we're talking all about the top flies, the top five fly colors you need to bring. You need to have, they're a must have, they're important. And we're going to talk straight up. Uh, we'll keep it simple today. And instead of naming like, you know, an actual fly, we'll give you very simple uh instructions instead we'll talk of just colors and the size so today number one would be black i like to carry a size 8 to 10 even 12 black um fly that's a big fly uh, i will downsize if i have to i like to start off bigger and then go smaller and what this allows me to do is hopefully catch the biggest fish in that general area on that bigger bait and then downsize to get the smaller fish that are a bit more finicky and finesse. A lot of times too, if you throw that small fly, the small trout will bite it before the larger trout. And then what that does is that disturbs the area and you don't really have a good shot at that bigger fish as much as you would have. But the second color you're really gonna to wanna to carry is gonna be a brown fly. It's just really natural, just like black. It shows up well, and it just imitates all the natural food forage that they're eating all year long. So the next color we're gonna talk about is olive. Olive is an exceptional color. Like, generally, I like to use it when the water's a bit clearer, but it's a great color all year round, especially if you live in areas where you have better water clarity. Another color that's really good is going to be white. A white fly sometimes is the ticket. A little bit of gray in that is always good. A little bit of black and gray can really make that white fly stand out and pop. And you know, when I fish a white fly, Generally, I, I try to go smaller. I don't go with a big white fly. It doesn't look natural. And the last color we're going to talk about on the Carson River is going to be blue. And the reason blue is so productive, and especially more in the spring and in the fall, is this is the dragonfly season, the spring and the fall. And that's when you get a lot of these dragonflies. So that's when they have some hatches, lots of hatches. And uh, that's, uh, that's where I guess that color comes into play because it's not just trout fishing, it's bass fishing and other things. So um, blue flies are very effective, especially if you can get a blue dragonfly that's what I would uh, target. And then if you can't, get something that looks like a baby blue dragonfly. But generally, you're trying to imitate those dragonflies. It's a really good bite. So, you know, it's generally that olive and that black and that brown. You can kind of get away with, you know, all year long. There's definitely a time to pull out the white, and that's going to be in those really terrible water conditions. You start going with like really bold colors, just trying to get a look. But today, I uh, hope this helped you guys. If you're going out there to the Carson and you've never been there, you know, it can be phenomenal. 20, 30 plus fish days, sometimes size, sometimes not. In general, it's a lot of fun. And make sure you go out there, 
with barbless hooks. There are regulations. A lot of times if you don't pinch the barbs and you're throwing lures, these fish are sensitive and they're gonna die. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. I've seen the banks littered with dead fish. So please try and do that if you go out there. Excellent place to go, guys. I hope this uh, helps somebody get out there, get on some get on some uh, rainbow trout. They have cutthroat trout that I was told were introduced and they have brown trout. So good luck out there, guys.